Welcome, my darlings, to this meditation designed to help you connect deeply with your feminine energy. This is Teresa, and I will be your guide. I had found that learning how to be more aligned and balanced naturally with your feminine energy to be one of the most rewarding processes you can do for yourself. When I learned about this, it was like the gates of life ease and success opened up for me. It helped me to manifest my soulmate, have success in business, build better relationships, and be a mentor to women around the world. It's so self-empowering, and it's about balancing your natural energies of feminine and masculine. Be sure to stay until the end for more options and how you can continue to create your personal success from deeper alignment to your feminine energy and so much more. All right, my darlings, now we are ready to dive in to the meditation. I invite you to find a quiet space where you can relax without interruptions for the next several minutes. Sit or lie down comfortably, close your eyes, and begin focusing on your breath. If you like, Imagine you are in a darker space or room. Not scary, just comfortable, soft, and safe. Continue to take deep breaths, filling the air as it fills your lungs, and then slowly exhale. And with each breath, let go of any tension, stress, or worries. Now starting at the top of your head, Feel a wave of calmness flowing down. Your scalp loosens and you start to feel your muscles letting go. Letting go of the nerves, being attached to the bones, stuck with tension. Feel the gentle wave of calmness softening your eyes and relaxing your jaw. Let this move down your neck, into your shoulders as they drop, and just putting down all the weight of those things you've been carrying around, because you do not have to right now. Feel the calmness flow sweetly through your body and that feeling of sweet relaxation. Flow down your arms and unclenching your fist and fingers. Your chest breathes in and out naturally. It knows what to do. You're having a very nice ease and flow right now. You are feeling your abdomen let go. Your organs are relaxing and the muscles in your legs are happy to melt. The wave of calm love flows down your legs, all the way down your feet, and untwisting your ankles. Imagine pretty pink roots growing out from the soles of your precious, strong feet. They are getting support right now too. So these roots are moving deep into the earth, digging past the weeds, the mud, the layers of rock and sediment, down, 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 finding its way down, connecting you with the nurturing energy of Mother Gaia. You were held in the womb of Mother Earth, feeling her loving support. You were always safe in this space and now you are being grounded in this energy. You are tuning yourself to the vibration of the world and the heart of the universe. From this space, you're going to flow the energy 
back up from the center of Mother Gaia, back up from the center of the earth, and move back up into your heart space with your natural breaths and gently expanding your heart energy. Really connect and feel it expand. It feels so good to give this attention. You are opening your heart chakra and connecting to love. Love for yourself and love for others. This expansion is like a flower opening. So imagine a ruby red rose. Imagine the rose and all of its petals. You know, the vibrational energy measurement of a rose is 500 megahertz. That's the same frequency measurement of love. It's no wonder why we love roses so much. And the energy of this rose encompasses all of you. Your heart chakra and then all the way down to your sacral chakra. The sacral chakra or womb space is often thought of as the primary location of your feminine energy, like the home of your feminine energy. And it connects with all of your other chakras too. They all work in unison. And even if you do not have a womb, it's okay. It's that area of your body and your sacral that we're talking about. It's the full expression of you when it's all working in unison and connected. Now imagine your body is dropping down, slowly dropping down and placing you right in the middle of this ruby red rose. You are sitting comfortably in the middle of this velvety rose. The whispering soft petals slowly moving back and forth, contracting slightly with each breath you take. Now you will choose five rose petals, one at a time. I will guide you. And each one will have a different feminine energy embodiment to activate. There are several ways to activate your feminine energy and perhaps more than five. These five are gonna give you a great connection. The feminine energy aspects are really more than just a list of traits or things to do but rather an understanding of how to be, how to be naturally. It takes practice and awareness, and that's what we are doing now. And over time, it becomes very natural, and that's how you will always be. Okay, now go ahead, my dear, and look at these beautiful, soft, velvety rose petals and pick your first one. Perfect. This rose petal represents your intuition. You are deepening your intuition. Your intuition is your guide. It's your magic wand right in your back pocket. But we don't always listen to it or even hear it. So right now, imagine it like it's the silver moon above you and the silver moon above you is softly shining its light down on you and showing you the way yes this light represents your intuition your inner knowing and it's showing you the way and you decided to trust it you decided to turn this light on and the more you use this light, the more it shines, the more it guides you. So just imagine this light being switched on, this moon over you, it's there for you. Allowing the moonlight to enter your crown chakra at the top of your head and moving down into your third eye between your eyebrows. It's filling you with this gentle, intuitive, magical energy and you've made the decision 
with your intuition that it is an awakening more right now. You've decided that you will ask for guidance, specifically at times when you really need it, and you vow to listen. Not try to think of the answer, but to trust and to listen. This is your practice from now on. This is what allows you a deeper connection to your inner wisdom. And it feels so empowering. It's natural. It's easy when you let go and allow. This can also give you a gut feeling. The more you use it, the more you get. Your intuition is a powerful feminine energy component when you allow it and trust it. Okay, my darling, it's time to pick your second rose petal. This petal is about nurturing your creativity. And oh, how fun this can be when you get in your groove. So visualize yourself in a lush garden filled with vibrant flowers each one representing a unique aspect of your creativity, whether it be art or writing or making something or work ideas or launching a new project or planning your life with your soulmate. You get to be you. You are more aligned with your feminine when you are allowing yourself to be you rather than hiding. Walk through this garden, touch the petals, all of the flowers. There is more than just roses. Creativity can be so many different ways, right? Feel the creative energy within you begin to blossom and grow and to expand and to come out of hiding. Where in your life can you be more creative? Can you be more you? Embrace this area. Embrace your creativity. Allow it to flow freely through you. The creativity energy also resides in your sacral chakra. Trust in yourself and trust your ideas. Okay, my darling, let's choose your third rose petal. This is about connection and collaboration. How are you feeling in this area of your life? Connection to others is the elixir of life. We need others. We can be the safety net for them and they can be the safety net for us. It's about being open and receptive to others, allowing an ease and flow, attracting the right kind of people into our life that we can trust, offering encouragement support and love, and speak in our truth in a way that empowers rather than causes competition or drama. It's about bringing others together. You see, being in your feminine energy is quite strong, but it's a soft power. It's not a force. Where can you be a feminine leader to you, to yourself, to others. Where can you build more connection? And in romantic relationships, it's about being in the dance of back and forth feminine and masculine. It's the polarity that causes the attraction. One person is in masculine and one is in feminine. Everybody has both, that's the dance. And that's the beautiful part of relationships on the romantic part. <laughs> okay, let's move on to choosing your fourth rose petal. This one is about celebrating your sensuality. Imagine a soft, warm breeze caressing your skin. This breeze represents your sensuality your connection to your body and the pleasures it can experience. Feel the breeze, the cool touch, and feel how it awakens your senses. Really allow yourself to just imagine and feel that. 
heightened your awareness of touch and your senses are also about taste and smell and the sight and the sound. All of these are part of sensuality and sensuality is also about pleasure. Another component of the sacral chakra. Celebrate your sensual nature, honor your body and its desires, have more fun in your life, Enjoy everything that you can and always. Where in your life can you activate more of your senses and bring in more sensuality? When you eat delicious food? When you listen to music? When you speak about your passions? This is also an important aspect of opening your throat chakra to have your voice heard. Okay, my dear. It's time to choose your last, your fifth rose petal. Look around and choose it carefully. It's perfect. This is about connecting with the divine feminine. So visualize a radiant goddess standing before you. Now, this goddess can be anybody even someone you know, someone you admire, someone who encompasses the traits of the rose petals that we've chosen so far. Who is that? Create this goddess, someone you can model after from past or current, and she's embodying the essence of the divine feminine of the entire universe. The divine feminine is everywhere everything, all the time. She is a symbol of compassion, of love, strength, and wisdom. And you will take the traits that you want to embody more of too. Feel into her energy, merging into yours, you into hers, feeling this sense of divine connection, being held, supported, being guided, able to speak, able to connect, able to feel, and able to enjoy life. Know that you are part of this sacred feminine energy and it flows through you effortlessly. The entire universe has divine feminine and masculine qualities. Example, the moon is feminine and the sun is masculine. You are part of all of this. Take a moment to bask in the newfound connection of your feminine energy embodiment today. Feel your intuition, your creativity, the emotional depth that you've went into, your sensuality and divine connection. Know that these qualities are always present, ready to guide and support you. Now my darling, slowly bring your awareness back to the present moment. Look at your fingers and toes and take a deep breath and gently open your eyes. You can carry this connection with you, honoring and embracing your feminine energy in all that you do. Thank you for joining me in this meditation. May you always walk in the feminine strength of your feminine energy. If you enjoyed this meditation, please kindly like and subscribe. And if you'd like to share something in the, in the comments that you experienced, that would be amazing too. And nice for others to feel that they are not alone. I offer private coaching for women to create success in their lives. And honestly, the most popular topic is relationships, finding their soulmate. It moves, all of this moves your life forward from the feminine energy first. And this is your perfect start or deeper connection today. There's a link in the description if you'd like to talk about that more. See you soon, darling. Bye for now.